Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and welcome to Dash Detailed. If a series of ones and zeros transmitted over the internet is to be considered a foundation for global money, it should probably be exploit-free. So goes the philosophy of a new anonymous South Korea-based hacking collective called Glass Hunt. Glass Hunt burst onto the scene recently with their YouTube video that depicts them double spending an online Bitcoin casino. A double spend takes place when a user broadcasts a transaction to someone, say a merchant, waits for them to see the broadcast, and then broadcasts those same inputs, but this time with a higher fee, in a transaction back to one of their own addresses. If this is done in a special way and takes place before the next block is found, the user has successfully double spent their funds. The merchant has zero and they have their coins back. Watch how Glass Hunt did it to Anonymous Casino. Here's a good example of a Bitcoin double spend. This is purely for educational purposes. So I have zero balance here in Bitcoin on this anonymous casino. And I'm going to first go to my address that they have given me. And I'm gonna click deposit. Once I deposit and get my deposit address, uh, I just grab it right here. I'm gonna head over to Glass Hunt. And I'm going to double spend by sending funds to them. Um, first, I'm going to copy my address. I'm gonna quickly send some funds over. Click send funds and then confirm. Once that's confirmed, this will pick up that transaction. So here's my funds. Uh, I'm gonna then click on next and I'm going to send it to here my address and then it's going to go ahead and create my transaction once my transaction is created successfully um, and actually sent so it's been sent um, there's my transaction ID um, and it will appear over here in my balance so I'll refresh this page and it'll show my balance there it is I can refresh this page and now all of a sudden I can play some roulette. So let's have some fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna roulette spin on this and have some fun. Here we go, there's my balance. I'm gonna pretty much, you know, go, you know, essentially, yeah, it's gonna bet. I'm gonna spin. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna skip this. And oh it's red. Also oh, let me double up new bets. And go here. I'm gonna spin. Two, spin again. Oh, I won again. Okay, great. And then I'm going to do a new bet and a double up again. And spin and skip. And oh, it's black. I lost all my money. Well, well I didn't make as much money as I wanted. Oh no. I'll just go back to Glass Hunt. I'll put an address that I want to send uh, the funds back to. This is my own address. I'll just put that here and I'll click double spend. It'll generate the transaction, and then all of a sudden, now uh, their wallet doesn't have my bets in it. Let's review what just happened. This is my double spend. I sent this back to myself, and this was the original transaction that I sent to Anonymous Casino, and it, um, if I click on their wallet, it will show that they have a zero balance. So there, that transaction will not appear in the blockchain, um, but this transaction will, and I have my funds right back. So good, good to have all the money that I spent back. And um, if I go back here, uh, actually, if I refresh this page, it'll uh, show the really bad balance that I have over here. Uh, which will just never be confirmed because it's like they never uh, got the funds. Now, all of the funds will be returned to Anonymous Casino. I'm just going to make a deposit into this address and then tell them to keep it so that there was no harm, no foul. But just wanted to share 
this for educational purposes. Three members of the for-profit collective, Lord Pi, Foxtrot Tango, and Sir Pringles, agreed to grant me an audio-only interview. First I asked, what's with the Bitcoin double spends? Uh, regarding Bitcoin, we see that, for example, double spending as a, a problem that needs to be overcome and uh, for, for mass adoption to take place. And we figured if, the, if just anyone, anywhere, could simply perform it in an easy, instant fashion, that what eventually will happen is merchants uh, who deal in Bitcoin will take more security measures, but also uh, the Bitcoin Foundation, which has a history of kind of, you know, being a little slower to, to adopt changes uh, just because of how large it's become and, and how much, uh, how, how many different factions uh, with opposing views there are. Uh, we felt that it would definitely create a conversation within the community so that uh, people would really start talking about how to, how to overcome that problem. So with the increasing ease of use and accessibility of Bitcoin double spending tools, like on Glasshunt's own website, I then asked for an estimate of roughly how many Bitcoins are double spent in any given 24-hour period. I, I would say a, a few Bitcoin, uh, a few Bitcoin, which is, uh, you know, Two thousand bucks. The Glass Hunt Collective told me that various developers around the world have reached out to them and asked what they think is a solution for the double spends. The team reported no potential protocol level fixes, rather seeing additional burdens upon merchants to verify payments as the only feasible option. It, it goes into a thing called a confidence score. Um, you can find confidence scores, for example, on Block Cipher. They're a great website for uh, identifying the confidence of a transaction. Uh, usually, if a transaction is over 85% to 90% confidence uh, when it's, when it's uh, broadcasted, it's a like, harder double spend. Uh, right now, you just have to kind of go out yourself and, and check. And just because it has a high confidence score um, uh, or low confidence score doesn't mean the person is going to double spend, but they have the opportunity to in an easier fashion. I then asked Foxtrot Tango, Sir Pringles, and Lord Pie why this problem isn't talked about more often and why their video hasn't sparked a larger online discussion. People don't want to necessarily um, share the fact that they can double spend, and so that's, that's one big part of it. Because uh, once, once so we've seen a few actors on the site, they will double spend quite a bit, um, and the, the, I don't think it's something that people really talk about. And then the people who, people who advocate Bitcoin, they don't necessarily want other people to know that there are maybe cracks in the foundation. So they kind of just don't talk about it. For any Bitcoin accepting merchants who are concerned about the potential for Bitcoin double spends and or the costs of further verifying incoming payments, I invite you to visit dash.org slash downloads and go ahead and download our core wallet. While there, you can experiment with the sending and receiving of instant send transactions. This offers a confirmation in an average of 1.3 seconds. Glass Hunt's tools, mission statement, and registration for upcoming hacking courses can all be found at glasshunt.co. That's it for this week's Dash Detailed. Subscribe to this channel for more of this information every Wednesday. And I'll see you next week. My job and the job of my colleagues is to review digital currency wallets for acceptance or rejection into the Apple App Store. Don't even think about checking out the digital currency Dash, digital cash. It'll put hair on your pounds.